Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Matty, and in this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know about the PDF annotator. The PDF annotator is one of the features for pro or lifelong users where you can upload PDFs so you can take notes on them, study from PDF lectures, or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to make a blank document in RemNote by going into the sidebar using New Document and choosing a blank document. So I've been doing a deep dive on meditation and some of its effects on brain chemistry. So that's the PDF that I'm going to be uploading in this video. So I'm just going to give this document a name, Meditation on Brain Chemistry. Now in all of your REM, you'll notice a show source icon right below the title. Go ahead and click on that. If you're taking notes on the internet from YouTube videos or online articles, you can paste the URL here. And it's just an easy way to reference the source of where the notes are coming from. But to the right of this, you'll also see an upload PDF. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And let's upload something about meditation. Effect of meditation on brain structure. When your PDFs are uploaded into RemNote, they'll open up as a side-by-side -side document like this. So you can take notes on the left side of the screen while still reading from the right side of the screen. Now, in addition to me taking my own notes and making my own analysis about the paper, you can also reference and quote parts of the article and include them in your notes. So let me show you how to do this. I'm going to first resize the PDF so I can see it easier using the plus and minus icons here. And let's say there's some information that I think is really valuable that I want to include in my own notes. What I can do is just highlight over the sentence that I like. And then I can either type in enter or control plus C to copy this as a highlight. Now I can go into my notes on the left side, type in control V to paste. The highlight is then pasted into my notes, but it's also a clickable link. So if I'm reading down this PDF a bit further, and I want to refer back to the highlight, if I click on the highlight, it's actually going to automatically bring me back to that part of the PDF. I'm just going to grab a couple more highlights here. Now, in addition to grabbing just text highlights, you can also make highlight boxes. Uh, this is helpful if you want to grab pictures or diagrams or something like that. To do that, hold Control and then click and drag over to make the box. So I'm going to grab this picture right here. I'm holding down Control and I'm going to click and drag to create the highlight box. And again, I can hit either Enter or Control plus C to copy it as a pinned reference. And then I can paste that into my notes on the left. And you can add additional information to that pin, some context to why you created that highlight. Now, your highlights behave just like rem references. If you're not familiar with rem references, definitely check out that video before returning to this one. But basically what I mean is by if you click on it, it'll return to that place in the PDF. And right-clicking on a pin will actually open up a preview of what that entails. So if I right-click on this pin, you'll see that I get a miniature preview of what I actually pinned. So let's say that you keep taking more notes and adding more highlights and pins and your notes are getting kind of messy and overflowing with too much information. Well, you can also just view only your highlights if you want to for your PDF. To do that, click on the document button at the top left of your PDF and it'll show you all the highlights that you've pulled from that PDF and the page that you got them from. And again, clicking on the pin itself will bring you to that part in the PDF. You can also search through PDFs with the magnifying glass at the top right of the screen to find specific words if you're looking for them. And for some research papers like this one that I have, if you actually hover your cursor over some of the references in the actual PDF, you'll notice it gets yellowed out. And if I click on that reference name, it'll actually bring me to the references of the PDF so I can see that original source document that it came from. This is really useful for helping you find citations for your work. So those are the main functions of the PDF annotator in RemNote. Now I'm just going to show you how you can find all the PDFs that you uploaded into your knowledge base. If you go to your All Notes tab in the sidebar, you'll notice that there's actually a PDF tab. And it'll show you all of the PDFs that you've uploaded into your knowledge base. And from here, you can open them up and view all the highlights that you might have made. The final thing I want to mention for this video is that if you're using the PDF annotator and you're not really sure exactly how all the features work, there's actually a help icon you can use at the top left of the PDF annotator and you can follow a guided tutorial about all the features 
in the PDF annotator for a more comprehensive and detailed walkthrough. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. Hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.